everyone and welcome to Tara's Tricks. These are little videos showing you things that I like to make at home, the simple and my special way of doing them. So, today we're going to make scrambled eggs. I'm going to make this for two people. So, rule of thumb for me, it's quite generous, but three eggs per person. So I've got six eggs. Then some whole milk. You can use semi skimmed as well, but we're just going to make these really rich. And I'm going to use unsalted butter. The reason for that is if you use salted butter, you just don't know how much salt they've added. When you use unsalted butter, you can control how much salt you're putting in. First things first, I'm going to crack six eggs into my bowl. Okay, three eggs per person is pretty generous, but you don't want to be feeling hungry. So we're going to use just a fork to break up the yolks. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. And we want to add our milk now. So it's about two tablespoons, again, per person. You can use measuring spoons, or you can just do it by eye, just so that you know exactly how much I'm using. I'm going to use measuring spoons. So we're going for two tablespoons of milk per person, so four in total. Great, so I'm going to now give that a whisk together. This just makes it a little bit looser and easier to cook. Okay, great, so the last two things to go in with these eggs are a generous amount of salt. And when I say generous, I mean a chef's pinch, which is three fingers and a thumb. I'm gonna use mold and salt, okay? And this is the kind of pinch we're looking at. Three fingers and a thumb, in it goes. And a generous amount of black pepper. So a really generous amount of pepper. And give it another mix. So. I'm just gonna get this on a very, very low heat. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add my butter. So that's 30 grams of butter, about 15 grams a person, which is a tablespoon per person. So you could do it by eye also. Great, so my butter's melting in my saucepan. This is really important. When you add your eggs, you want your butter to be completely melted and just about to stop foaming. I'm going to use a spatula. You can use a wooden spoon as well, but don't use a whisk. Okay, you don't want to whisk your scrambled eggs and break them up loads. We want those really nice big flakes of scrambled egg. So I'm just going to wait for my butter to melt. We are going to wait until it just starts foaming. Okay, my butter's melted now. And now I'm going to add my eggs. So we want to use our spatula and we're going to work our way around the clock. So this is 12 o'clock up here, and I'm going to start there. So I put my spatula at the top of the pan and bring it to the center. And then I'm going to work my way around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, just going from the edge to the very center. And what you're doing is you're just letting the raw egg fill the gap where the spoon has been on the spatula. And you're getting these lovely big waves of cooked egg and letting the raw eggs spill into the puddle you left behind. It's really important to take it off the heat before it's finished because it will keep cooking in the residual heat of the pan. That's why it's important to have a nice heavy base one as well. So now when I do my stroke, very little raw egg falls into the space that I've left behind. So I'm just giving it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna take it off the heat now so it doesn't continue to cook. I've got my piece of toast. This is how you want it, just lightly toasted, especially if it's sourdough, so that it's still nice and bouncy and not gonna be rock hard. So, first of all, obviously, we wanna give that a really good butter up. Simple things done perfectly with a lot of butter. It's gonna taste good. You want these lovely big flakes of egg that you're just gonna spoon on. Okay, so this is for one person, leave the other half in there. And some little bit more black pepper on top. I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh, kind of piled this one quite high, shove that back on again. And that is my perfect scrambled eggs, but I am just gonna add a little tiny bit of chives. This is not essential, but it really is a nice touch and also it looks pretty. A few little chives. I'm not gonna add any more salt on top, but obviously if you want to, you can. 
This is my perfect scrambled eggs, all buttery and crispy. I'm gonna try some now because they look good. I think not, come on, go. 